National Water Commission, no water. No water. National Water Commission, no N water. No W worker care. That's what I say. Because Clearly, he's treating it as a general election, which you've known all along because, you know, the ads that he's running, all the last-minute road works that are going on, all the plethora of promises that um, many or most of which will never be fulfilled are just indicative of the desperation that he feels because he's very aware of the wave of power and energy coming out of the, the, out of the bowels of the people for the beat of National Park. He also said last night that the main complaint he has been getting is... Mm. Ah, the need for roads and water. Have you been getting anything more than that? Absolutely. Roads and water are always a big issue because, you know, the roads are in terrible condition all over the country and water supply is a massive problem for many communities. But there are also other issues that people feel strongly about. Farmers complain about the price of fertilizer, um, you know, their access to water, which is very expensive for them in many places. People are concerned about the governance of the country too. You know, the corruption which has dogged this government for eight years, which has led to there being six MPs who are, um, as per the Integrity Commission, under investigation for illicit enrichment. The Prime Minister put a gag order on his own cabinet so they can't talk about it. So they're not coming up front and disclosing who they are. So they are operating as if, you know, there's nothing, no cloud hanging over their heads because it, presumably the investigation isn't complete as to why the Integrity Commission hasn't sent those reports to Parliament yet. But of course, you know, we shouldn't be waiting on the Integrity Commission for this. We should be hearing from the, from the Prime Minister who it is and what action he's taking about it. And then his own annual declarations can't be certified for two years in a row by the Integrity Commission. And, you know, I feel strongly that that is a disqualifying factor for him. He should really not run again as Prime Minister because if you can't have your Integrity Commission um, declaration certified, how can you be the head of government of the country? It's a, it's, a, it's a stain on the image of the country to have its head of government in that very negative position. So these are all issues that we've been talking about and that people have uh, appreciated the significance of them as well. So it's bread and butter issues as well, cost of living problems. People are finding it very difficult to survive. Although the inflation rate, is, which is already high, is one thing. But the food in price inflation is significant and people are finding it hard to put food on the table, hard to send their children to school. And this is part of the reason I think why people are so motivated to send a signal. So yes, it's going to be a referendum on the government on Monday. Well, finally, sir, what can the people expect from a PNP majority at the local level? Well, we have uh, issued our manifesto and we published it yesterday. We wanted to give people enough time. It's not a long document. Um, it's six pages in normal text and with images and so on, it's a, bit, a few more pages and they can they have plenty of time to digest it. And that is what we believe in, in terms of local government. Of course, until we form government, some of those reforms will, won't, aren't possible because we'd have to control central government to put through those kind of legislative and policy reforms. But in the meantime, our councils will be um, expected to perform in accordance with the manifesto that we've published uh, insofar as the law and their resources allow, and that's what we'll be doing. Okay, thank you very much. All thank the best. You. All the best. So in this day and age, we have to be getting water trucks. Water trucks. Yeah, man, water trucks. Pipe bus and pump board blow up and this not working right. And that. Water commission who have the full full monopoly on water they provide water to three million people or more and they can't get it right them don't have the money to put in the infrastructure them can't fix them old pipes they can't put in new technology they just keep posting pictures about oh we gave this place some water after 30 years they got water in their pipe are we backward we must be backward. Every week we have to be calling water trucks. We have to be begging for people to come put water in our tanks. In this day and age, water commission. Is the board sleeping? Are you all fast asleep? Or you don't, you're not affected? Your, your pipes run differently. You got a source that you're not affected. Must. 
Because I'm sure you're affected. But maybe your tanks are so big, it don't matter because you have enough reserve for a month while the rest of us suffer. So we put in a 200 gallon, and we have to put in a 400 gallon, and we have to put in a 1,000 gallon. Now it's time to dig up the whole road under my driveway and put up a 5,000 gallon because I cannot rely on the Water Commission. It is the worst running entity in the island. Don't we see that? The minister, don't you see what is going on with the Water Commission? There's no way to solve it. There's no way to find a solution that prevention is done first. We don't wait for the tank to blow up and the pipe to bust and the pump to be overloaded because we're putting up 10,000 more homes and we're not upgrading our facility. Fix it and get it right. Every single month we're losing water for a week at a time. Jacksonville, Millsborough, Russell has haven't seen water in a week. To fix a problem, you're talking about one pipe and it's a main p- Fix it, that's what you pay people for. That's why you earn so much money. That's why you charge so much for your water. That's why you collect every single month to give us the service. The service. I shouldn't have to have a water tank. People in Florida don't have a water tank. People in the US don't have a water tank. People in Spain don't have a water tank. People in Italy don't have a water tank. I don't even think people in UK use water tank. I don't even think people in Cayman have water tank like we have water tank. It's like a scam. Buy as much water tank and make as much profit. Make the people get water tanks. If we did not have water tanks, what would happen? Do you understand what would happen? We pay you. A contract is done between Water Commission and me. I pay you to run pipe to my house. Pay you to put a meter at my house. And pay you for a service that you can not give me on a constant basis. Delay, water locker, and I have to put a water tank to back you up. The water commission, I have to back you up in my water tank. There must be a lawsuit pending on you. I must can sue you because if you pay me for a service and I can give it to you on a regular basis, then what do you do? What can you do? You know, sue me? You know, send a collector after me? You know, find a solution for dealing with it? And you, the Water Commission, can't provide service. One week ago, we hear about some main six-inch, six-inch pipe, whatever, bus. And we're waiting one week and can't get water. What you guys doing? You're importing the pipe from China? Or are you going to fly some people down to fix it? Because your engineers do not know what they're doing. It must be one of the two. Because when I have a leak in my house, a plumber can come and fix it in an hour. It's the same thing, it's just on a bigger scale. So all you have to do is get the people who know what they're doing. Keep the pipes in stock. Put new pumps in place. Have a 24-hour response that people do not have to go without water for weeks and wait on a water truck to come in. A water truck that you can add back on my bill. National Water Commission. When are you going to get your act together? When are you going to get your act together? When are you going to provide to Jamaica the service of water to every single household that should be having water now? Third world, worse than third world. We're worse than third world. If all of, if we have see people still carrying bucket on their head and trying to go to a pipe to get catch water, what, where, where are we? This couldn't be Jamaica. National Water Commission, no mm. Water, no water, National Water Commission, no N, water, no W, worker, care. That's what I say. Because I have been here for almost 60 years and it has not changed, has not gotten better. We still have water lock off, we still have to have water tank and nobody's doing anything about it. So that's why I get away with it. Disgrace. National Water Commission, you're a disgrace.